Welcome to Firearms of America. Today I'm back here at Shooters in Fort Myers, Florida about to do the review of another AR-15. Always happy to do those. But this time, I'm extra happy because this right here is locally made. That's number one. Number two, all of the parts used here are made in USA. Great, all right? And number three is the name. The name of the company that makes this gun. In guns we trust, IGWT, abbreviated. Cool name, I love it. Alrighty, so this is their FL, which I think stands for Florida, maybe not, FL15. Alright, and this is one of the versions of their FL15s. They have a few, they have a full size 16 inch barrel version, and this is their shorter version, as you can see shorter barrel and this is not a stock dear ATF no this is actually an arm brace which I will use as a stock in order to shoot it ha alrighty so let's uh, get out on the range uh, because if you guys know if you've seen any of my reviews this is only a handgun ammo range so let's do some shooting on the outdoors range here we go so 5.56 five, 5.56 five, NATO. I, uh, I do like this round a lot. Um, I think whenever it comes to the rifles, it's probably, probably one of the more combat, tactical situation friendly round. Yeah, I mean, in fact, if you look at the history of the 5.56 five, round, uh, you will see, you will see in, in 1970s, the uh, original NATO uh, round, which was 7.62, uh, it, was, it was replaced by the 556 because because they wanted something a little bit more combat friendly for the automatic weapons because there was just a little bit too much recoil from the 762 to handle for the uh, automatic uh, for the automatic. But, I mean, you, you talk about the automatic weapon, the same kind of goes to the. Uh, Semi-automatic weapon, obviously. Obviously, it's much easier to handle 5.56 in semi-automatic than it is than it is 7.62. So, as you can see, for a short barrel, honestly, I was actually really, really surprised. It was uh, handling the recoil really just as good as my uh, AR 5.56, which is a standard 16-inch barrel, and uh, the same goes for this arm brace. All right. I thought it would be a little bit weird, but once I had the sights installed on this, uh, it was uh, actually very, very comfortable. So let's start from the very beginning. First of all, we do have our mag release, which is not ambidextrous, uh, but located in the standard location where you would typically find your mag release right here. And it works absolutely flawlessly, right, without any problems. You do have your racker. It's actually very smooth. I mean, compared to my AR-556 from Ruger, I do love that rifle, don't get me wrong, but this is just, you can feel, you can tell the difference immediately. Like, it's almost like gracious, you know, this gracious high relief and no. All right, now it does take a little bit of the adjustment to do whenever it comes to this arm brace ATF, uh, but, but, once you do a few shots, you do realize that it actually works just as good as your normal six position stock, which you can honestly install on it if you want, and it should be legal because it makes absolutely no sense to make it illegal, ATF, all right? But uh, let's talk about the grip. I do like the grip. This is a very aggressive grip, surprisingly, for an AR-15, typically you do have just a regular um, grip that has absolutely no aggression because of the way you handle the recoil in the rifle, but I do like, I do like the aggression on the grip, I think it is important, and here you definitely have some uh, on the back, this side right here on the sides, pretty aggressive, and you also do have a very nice finger groove right here, which actually does the job Pretty good, I think. I, I really do like it. Now, whenever you're buying one of these brand new, you do get one magazine. You do have a very, very nice case that it comes with. And uh, you even have 
a business card from people who made this. Yes, and they're local here in Fort Myers, Florida. How awesome is that? I absolutely love it. Now, that's really it. You don't really get anything else. And uh, you probably realize by now that I'm referring to the sites, which I, again, it is fine because whenever you're buying a rifle, if you're making your own build, you probably have your own idea of a red dot, a magnifier, or whatever the flip up sites in mind. So it is okay. But what I really do like about this is the design of the Picatinny rail. It's very smart. You do have tiny little Picatinny on the front so that you can mount your front iron side if that's what you want, the flip up side or whatever. You do have a little bit of it here and right here and the back. So here probably would be a good one for, I don't know, a red dot system. Or if you want a bigger scope, bigger magnifying scope like the one I used on the range because it was a yeah, it's decent distance. I thought, why not give it a shot? And uh, yeah, it works perfectly well. Now, of course, you can have a strap hanging out here if you want to strap it around your arm and use it as an arm brace, ATF. Uh, but, but you don't have to, you probably notice the uh, M-lock uh, attachments um, on the sides, on the top, on the front. I do like it. I mean, it's not, it's not the most phenomenal um, handle as a grip, if that's, you know, here, if you, if you know what I mean. But if you do mount something that is comfortable and that fits better in your hand on one of these m like attachments, I think it has a pretty decent potential. So let's get back to the range, let's do some more shooting, and then we will come back and we will talk about the trigger. Yes, let's do that. To give you a little bit of a more of a background of uh, 556, it comes uh, from a very popular uh, company. Everybody knows it, or at least should know it. FN, all the way from Belgium. All right, so it's an European, European round, originally known as uh, 223 Remington. And uh, when it was uh, adopted by NATO, they renamed it to 556. Uh, NATO. Uh, honestly, you know, this is this is the type of gun. The, the more you shoot it, the more you like it. it. It is really, really good. Everything is good. And one of the things that is good after the awesome racker is also the trigger. Check it out. Check it out. We have probably about one, two millimeters of unsure travel. And then a crisp break pretty good honestly i think it could have been a little bit better all right there's always room for improvement so i think it could have been uh i would say either no travel at all or a little bit safer more familiar travel to where you know that it is supposed to be there here you don't yeah see here you don't really know and, and it feels like it's not supposed to be there, but you can get probably about a millimeter out of it before the trigger breaks. So in guns we trust. If you're watching this video, here's a, for the version FL 15 version 2. All right, now you probably notice the, uh, there is the flash suppressor here at the front of the barrel. So the barrel is threaded. Your typical, what is it, half an inch by 28 thread. So if you are into suppressors on your AR-15, you can definitely do it here, all right? So overall, overall, I do like it a lot. Now safety, there's really not much to say about the safety. It's one of your standard AR-15 safeties, which you cannot turn on unless, the slide is racked. Honestly, the best part about this gun, well, besides the smart Picatinny design and this being as compact as it is, the, 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 the racker is just phenomenal. I love it. I absolutely freaking love it. <laughs> All right, but uh, what the hell was, oh yeah, right. I was talking about the safety. So unless the slide is racked, you cannot turn on the safety, which it is racked now. So you have your safety switch, which works very, very well, as you can see one hand operation or more like one thumb operation and uh you definitely got that going and of course you do get your uh dust cover if if you need that in case if uh you're in some uh dusty conditions 
Overall, I think it's really, really good gun, especially if you are looking for AR-15 home defense, for your home defense, I think this is a great version, the shorter, um, shorter AR-15, short barrel AR-15. Honestly, this is my first short barrel AR-15 review that I have done, and uh, I think it's great. I think it's great, it would be perfect for a home defense because it is much more maneuverable compared to a longer stock on the normal one and the 16 inch barrel, which typically make it about 30 to 35 inches long total. This, I mean, this fits it here in this small little um, cubicle, all right? So let me know in the comments below, guys, what do you think about this FL15, AR15 from In Guns We Trust? Awesome name, um, awesome guns. Uh, really hoping that one day I'll be able to go and check out their facility which is somewhere here in Vermont, Florida, and uh, review more guns from them. If you have any requests for reviews, drop them in the comments below. I will be happy to address them if I come around the guns. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. This was Firearms of America. See you guys in the next video.